A very good evening to one and all. Let's begin this motivational session with a silent prayer. Thank you. So, we have gathered here to be, we have gathered here to be motivated with an uh, motivational session talk arranged by IQAC and a session on positive teaching. I cordially invite or welcome our principal, Reverend Dr. Jolie Andrew, CMI, all vice principals, deans to this session. And we are blessed enough to have our Deek, Par Deek Parashini as our speaker, motivation session speaker. And talking about him, much about him, he believes that the world is my family on a mission to make them realize that life is all positive and negative doesn't exist. With over two decades of diverse work experience in marketing, sales, engineering, and psychology, he's working as a regional commercial manager, Middle East and South Asia, and in a uh, Canadian company now. He, is, he has completed a Bachelor of Science in USA, an MBA from Birla Institute of Technology, and then an MSc in Business Psychology in UK. Over 22, over 2,000 something sections of all over India have positively impacted thousands of individuals across various age groups. Deke has conducted sessions for esteemed organizations such as Ministry of Indian Railway, Central Academy for Police Training, IIT Mumbai, King's George Medical University, Madhya Pradesh Police Academy and more on. He conducted all his sessions with an intention of giving back to the community and his missions is to make positively freely available to everyone. The next question you would ask is why free? To which he replies, it is just my way of thanking God and I consider each of us, each of you as my family. Then he can I charge, how can I charge a fee to my family for my service? Furthermore, Dick is the founder of uh, LIAP Foundation, a volunteering-driven in initiative with a simple goal. Let's all come together and make the world realize that life is all positive. This particular foundation has helped over 20,000 people in the last two years through 66 projects throughout India. The core mission is to heal minds and feel sounds, considering the whole world as one big family. This reflects Deke's, Mr. Deek's commitment to creating a better world based on positivity, compassion, and shared humanity. So, sir, to your, to, uh, we are really extreme to have your presence here. We cordially invite you to Christ College. Welcome you, sir. So I welcome each and every faculty members who have assembled here to make this, make this session a fruitful one and a successful one. Thank you. Now I welcome uh, our dear principal to uh, speak a few words. Nothing more to take any of the time. I wholeheartedly welcome, thank uh, Dick Parasini for this uh, motivation talk. We are eager to meet uh, eager to uh, hear from you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, before I start, uh, I'd like to thank Christ College principal and all the fathers uh, who have given me this opportunity and special Arun sir who, who I met in Loyola College and now I'm in front of you to give a talk. Don't see me as a motivational speaker. Don't see me as you know a person who has achieved whatever it is. Just see me as a son or a younger brother because I think most of you are senior to me. So it's not about the respect. I believe that you people have much more experience than me. You people have seen a lot of students uh, in your own walk of life and 
it is just a family discussion over here right i'm not here to challenge i'm not here to counter because you people already have enough experience than me in in a in a bigger field when i do sessions for faculties normally initially they will ask me challenging questions to test me yeah let's see what he's going to do and what he's going to answer most of my session is a question answer sessions question answer session means when you think about positive teaching what are the things which is coming in your mind it could be any question from birth to death any doubts can be asked with regards to teaching life and all now the next question you'll ask is yeah this guy is a very young guy what credibility he has can he really give advice or discuss on this topic i've done sessions to fifth grade students and 60 year old group of adults i've talked sessions to teachers doctors engineers police officers even some pastor new pastors also have talked with me even islamic scholars so different people have their own doubts and they kind of clarify in the best possible way so feel see this as a family thing we are not here to counter people we are not here to challenge it's just a open discussion let's all understand positivity at a much more deeper level so there is three ways you can ask me questions right i will get to the topic but i'm just getting the protocol ready so you're all mentally prepared for that there is three ways you can ask me a question one is a topic based topic based could be anger or depression or stress so that's a topic based which few of you would be going through the second way you can ask me is my problem like for example two days ago i did a session for high school faculty so there the question i got is i am a very strong teacher students all respect me but my child don't respect me or don't give a damn for me what do i do about it so it could be those levels of questions also which can be bothering you irritating because how much ever you try about positive teaching if your family is not positive forget positivity because how much ever you teach you go back to that same family that is negative so how much ever you try to in build that you are always jumping into the same negativity and that really takes away that positive teaching within you my english is okay okay i can talk in malayalam also if i want i'm originally from kannur when you say parashini many people are struggling to use the word parashini parashini is the parashnit kadavu which you know so that's my tarwad actually so i come from there i am so it sounds italian you know so that way is really good so <laughs> so so when so when people say my name it's quite very easy for me there is no bias of you know which religion which caste i'm coming from so that makes it off anyways i'm based in abu dhabi and i traveled round right now i'm in india tour i was in sholapur aurangabad uh, and then couple of other cities i'm coming to uh, uh, trishur then i go back to abu dhabi and 15th again i come back i have to go have delhi kanur and few other sessions are being arranged i do everything as a giving back to the community i don't charge for myself so lesser sessions i do more money i make the more sessions i do more i tend to lose but for me it's all about giving back to the community because it's not about you or me there is a mother there is a father there is a sister there is a brother wanting that answer in life i'm just that one person to give that answer for example today morning arun sir arranged a session for students and you know uh, the college arranged for the sessions so i thought maybe one hour one and a half hour it will be and will the students ask questions we almost went for two and a half hours right and the kids feedback was you know we didn't even know the time went in your conversation i'm just giving you feedback to understand where this is going to go and after that i had a personal talk with five students and literally one girl just blast into cries in she just cried in front of me because so much of deep pain is there so my job is to talk to those five people make them understand if they are positive their family becomes positive and the world becomes positive so three ways you can ask me one is topic based one is uh, my problem which means i have a son i have a child or i have this confusion why today's generation don't listen to why are they addicted to phone i'm giving all questions so you can ask me right because those are the problems which i know adults are going through like children are out of control now they have their own way they have their own dream they don't listen to parents because once that is figured out once the family is figured out then you become a teacher so it's always a husband wife mother or a father first if that is figured out teaching is an automatic process because what i believe 
this is just my belief maybe i'm wrong teachers are already blessed by god because they are doing a divine mission in their own way but some teachers are not real into teaching also this is a joke i always say some teachers are teaching just for the salary some teachers are teaching just to complete the syllabus some teachers are just teaching because they have the teacher status some teachers are just teaching because i didn't get any other job so let me get into teaching so that genuineism of teaching is slowly losing that genuinity of being that right positive teacher slowly being lost why that family that internal peace that internal thing is not there so the more questions you ask me mostly in faculty i have seen they'll test me with questions you can test me and then if you want to talk to me personally you can talk to me personally also so you want me to go to questions or talk about teaching i would love to get questions are there in mind why my life is like this sorry so you said something oh okay okay questions are there in mind see you are teachers you always ask a lot of questions so feel free to ask see the more you open up more fun we are going to have i can talk about positive teaching enough and enough and enough enough but when you go back home your child is sitting and crying or i don't want to talk to my mother whatever positive i tell here today that will all go when you reach home so i want to fix that problem so that or you can ask me the best way i ask a third person's question you know my friend has this problem or i have seen this one of the teacher having this problem because of which you know they are struggling what is that one thing and if people who are not married if you want to talk about marriage issues feel free to talk about it right if you have already married your husband wife issue just generally say okay husbands are doing this way what is that i am driven by the questions which people ask so that the answers because i can motivate you i can motivate you say hey teachers is a good profession go ahead and get you all pumped up but when the real problem hits now forget all positivity so every human being have five problems in life in general but most of us get busy in something else that five problems no one fixes and what they do normally watch movie watch cricket watch news run away from the problem but the more we run away from the problem the more it works against you so my job is to get that five problem figured out so that it works out from that way so questions or i still continue talking no no feel see i know i'm going to corner you i know i'm going to challenge you but it's just that let's see see this is a problem here there's a small younger brother in front of you who have some small little bit of experience in his own walk of life here asking you know whatever doubts you have as a family let's discuss right so that's what i believe in if one person starts then remaining will start i'm sure you have anger issues i'm sure you have children who are having trouble i'm sh- quite sure your child is addicted i'm quite sure see 70% of the girls and boys come to me with a relationship issue right now all your children if you have 70% you are all having children would be getting into some kind of relationship or not so that's the other thing i say children go in, ser- in search of love not because they are attracted to boys or girls they are not getting proper attention care or respect from their family so they go out in search of love most people say youth is here they are making girlfriends boyfriend relationship it's not there it is that one attention which the father is not giving it is that one hug which the mother never gave which they are trying to in search of boys and girls and they are falling into that trap in whatever form it is am i making sense because sometimes you know when i give sessions to others i do my talk do my talk but then flashback will hit you in whatever form in whichever form it is so whatever question is there because the youth is struggling right the youth is completely lost if teachers like you can figure them out much more better it'll be much more of use to them at the end of the day but when we ourselves think that okay i know how the youth is i have figured it out but then why is the youth still struggle right there are psycho- there could be psychologist here there could be many people then why am i coming and doing the talk so you got to see it from that point of view and work it out no questions or still i continue and trigger you see i'm sure there is an yes sir 
Thank you very much for stepping up and asking me a question. My concern is whether I would be able to uh, perform my responsibility today. Okay. Good question. So, normally this happens, right? This is what I love. So, sir is asking is, can I fulfill my responsibility? Leave me by 4 o'clock. Only half an hour is there. I need to pick up my son. So, what happens is, in general, everyone, whoever is not interested, can always leave. I am not in a hurry to make, sir, save this world or whatever. From. That's just my point of view. But what I normally tell is, as we talk about responsibilities here, each one of us have our own responsibilities. And most of you are not actually following that responsibility to which the children are getting lost in the process. For example, now, whatever reason, due to some reason you have to pick your child, right? And you get late of whatever reason. What do we do? We just leave the child not even informing that you are going to be late or not. So what normally happens is all the responsibilities are disturbed and broken when the other party have a certain level of expectation and when you don't meet that expectation, you have a problem. And the second is, when you even you try to meet the expectation, if, they're exp if you are not telling them the truth. For example, many fathers tend to take loan and teach their students. And most of the students don't even know that father has taken loan. Because father is father figure, I should not see loan in front of my children and they take loan. And when they take this loan, you don't tell your children and then after some time when he wants a new mobile phone is when he will come and ask you a new mobile phone and when you can't give that mobile phone is when the fight starts. Right, Papa, no, 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 my friend has a phone, I'm not getting the phone, what is the use of it and it keeps on going that way. So the question here is, are you open or are you properly responsible enough to share the financial issues or to share what you are actually doing for the child. Most parents, what they do, they save money, they save money, they save money, and then they put it all for the children. The children are going to just take that money and go. You are working hard to make the money, but and doing a responsibility also. But then, if the children don't know you're working hard, if the children don't know what you're doing in whatever form it is, it's a natural thing that they wouldn't value you how much ever you do. Now, for example, you are late. For example, husband or wife. Whenever you are late, I'm quite sure most husbands don't even bother to call their wife and tell them they're going to be late. So indirectly, what is going to happen is naturally that wife will start thinking a lot of things why my husband is late. And then when you go there, you have a lot of further issues which you have to face. So as fathers, if your son is more important, you have to leave here at 3.30, that's it. But on the other hand, if you get more value from what we are talking, maybe one message of your life could change you and your son's relationship. So would I get that information from this? That's the question which you ask me, we'll get through. Right? So, but for me, five are the most important people who you have to be responsible for. Mother and father, trust them 100%. You have a deep responsibility to fill it. What I've heard nowadays, I don't know how far it's true. I just heard a research that Kerala is the place where there is most number of old age homes. I don't know if it's true. Is it true? It is true. My question is why? What is happening between the parents and children is that the parents and children don't want these parents anymore in their life. That is a question you have to ask yourself. So that's what ask me these questions so I can tell you what the youth is thinking and planning. There's a different story. If you ask me why there's more old age, I will tell you. But someone has to ask me first. Right? So what naturally happens is children normally work it out from that side and, and, and it goes on. Right? So did I answer the question with regards to responsibility? I know most faculty questions, they will always put a googly and a tough question which doesn't make sense and work it out. But then slowly, slowly when I talk the seriousness of it, then you will understand, okay, there's much more deeper things which we can discuss about. So questions, topic? Why children are like that? Why youth are like that? 
why old ages are there what i want is i can talk about any topic right but i want you to ask me about the topic so that i can revolve around and talk about that is what i really want to work on why old age is happening yes sir what is the real problem youth are facing now there's couple of problems one is they themselves don't know what is right and wrong point number 1 the youth's biggest problem is they don't know what is right and wrong most of the decisions and analysis are taken from tvs social media and not from the parents so most of the youth is not even getting the value transfer from their parents which means i did a session in dps bhopal one of the biggest school in bhopal and there one kid asked me sir why do you have to believe in god so i asked there how many of you believe in god 30% student said they don't believe in god i asked them do your parents believe in god they said yes so why is that transfer not happening it's the other thing you got to understand so most of the parents are busy most of the parents hand over their children to third party now for example who is all newly married they have a kid right so once they have a kid what do you do hand over the kid to someone mostly you hand over to a maid but the maid is actually a third party who is generally not in all in love just money is there i will so generally the genuine love the child is not getting so then if you go further down you push the kid to school and then once they come back you can't manage the kid what do you do next special classes singing dancing and all that again you're giving the kid to third party and then if a baby is crying you see now 3 year old 4 year old kids are handed over phones if you go in any hospital or any party mother father child child phone 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 so naturally all these kids are handed over to a third party and the third party is influencing them and no more the mother and the father you go to school college then you have your friends what the parents is hey, you have a friends no enjoy with them why are you coming to me you have your own party go for your party so what you're doing is the more you hand over the child to a third party more it is actually not your kid is a third party kid so what happens is the advices which the youth is looking for is not their mother and father it's normally a third party and when the third party is normally looking for their profit and that's why they can be misuse so when you don't get that love and affection from your mother and father the child is going to go outside in search of that and that is the one of the see 70% of the girls and boys comes with a breakup issue love breakup dumped physical attraction they some go physically and then they get broke up and all those things are the main factor and the other thing is you expose a lot to social media that they think that that is life and they get it completely wrong like for example how many of you drink soft drinks can you raise your hand soft drinks most of you drink soft drinks no let me let me get some exercise going on okay how many of you most of you drink soft drink put your hands down how many of you know it's bad for health how many of you most of you know it's bad for health and still you drink what can even god do over here right so children are doing a lot of things don't know if it's right or wrong even parents are doing it wrong and children are saying even parents are doing so what is the problem with me so willingly we tend to ignore a lot of things willingly we tend to so soft drink is the best example and then you pray god god give me good health god is also confuse you want soft drinks or good health right don't confuse the poor guy right because he himself is thinking like what to do with this people they know it is bad still going and doing it and thinking that they will get me so when you willingly ignore a lot of things is when slowly that removes you from that real profession of teaching which you're getting into because when you're cutting your corners why should students follow you if you're standing with the truth that soft drink is not good the children will stand with you but when your values itself is shaken when your values itself you think it is okay then the student will also come and say sir it is okay for me also but what parents i it is okay for me but not okay for you there is the other twist which works against some things are okay for parents some things are not okay for kids and that's where it works so the further other issue with the youth nowadays is that is because of that gap 
which is between their mother and father, there's a lot of third people influencing them towards their personal benefit. So they are lost there. So my job which I do is to come in between the father and the mother and the child, build that gap and if the family is back together, 90% of the whole world's problem will be fixed there itself. And then if you bring God, it becomes much more easier. So those are the few things which the youth gets through, if I made sense. Am I making sense? Or it's all, yeah, he's talking just dumb stuff or whatever it is. I hope it's, as long as it's making sense, I'm all good. Right? So what I, what, what, see now I'll tell you more about the kids. Now you have, I'm sure most of the adults will have this issue with kids using a lot of phone. True or false? True? I will tell you the reason why. It is very, very simple. At the age of three or four, when a baby cries, what does the mother and father do? Hand over the phone. True? So a baby is crying, give him the phone. If the baby is hungry, give him the phone. If the baby is sleepy, give him the phone. If the baby's stomach is full and maybe he's a small kid, the pampas is filled with uh, whatever he has done, give him the phone. So at a very young age, the kid is thinking that any problem in my life, phone is the solution. Right? So it has been done for the 6th grade, 7th grade, when the marks is very, very low, that time you pull the phone from him. So for 5 to 6 to 7 years, he has been thinking that phone is a solution to all my problems. When you pull it out, then he might have, he gets aggressive, he gets that, you know, whatever mental health disorder, lot of words are there when, you know, they get feel alone, they feel lonely, depression and all these things comes in. And then you further hand over the kid to various other walks of life. So if you naturally look at it, it is not the child who is messing up, it is somewhere around the influences which you are giving them, the freedom. Because how is the easiest way to make a son quiet? Give him a phone. But what you don't understand is, if you are giving the phone at a such a young age, if you are handing over to a maid, there are chances when you are dependent on them, they will hand you over to a maid or they will hand you over to a phone or a nurse or whatever it is. So there is a cycle of life which happens. So when, if you are not there for the child when they need you, when you need them, maybe they might not be there for you. If you naturally look at the law of life. I hope I'm not talking so deep topics. I hope it's making sense. Did that did make sense? So on that, cool. Any more questions? We have another 20 more minutes to go. Yes, sir. So if they are addicted, sir, I will tell you something. If a kid is addicted to phone, you remove your phone and give him all the love, he will get out of the phone quite easily. But the point is we don't have time for that, no. Now for example, every child wants to spend time with his father. Every child genuinely wants to spend a lot of time with the mother. But what we do is, we are also busy with our phone. So the first step as parents, what we are to do is, let me not use my phone for the next 10 days and let me give every opportunity to spend time with my child, which means I'm going out today, fight or shout and get him out. Because some children, they are so in the phone thinking that this is all I have to do when maybe when they see the outside world, for example, go when they, for example, give a simple thing, when the kid is playing this mobile phone, go and hug him or tell the mother to hug him. Keep hugging him, hugging him, hugging him. He will irritate, he will reject. But after some time, when that warmth of love comes from a mother and a father, he will accept. So give that warmth, give that the first reject, or say sorry also. Sometimes, some children just want your one sorry to open up. Maybe it's a sorry thing. Father, you didn't have, give me any time for COVID time. You just was watching the news, watching the news, how many people are dying, how many people are there, what the number is happening. Half the time you sat in news, news, news. I also got mobile, mobile, mobile. So go and have an open conversation with the child. Today onwards, I'm stopping news. Will you type, spend time with me? You can hand over. But if the mother and father is not there for them, I'll say mobile is better. Or they will sit lonely in the home and get more crazy. So have that open conversation. Try to see whenever I'm free, get him out, get him out, get him out. 
slowly let him interact with people sir i will tell you something i know a girl who came to me and said that sir in college one boy comes with the blade and, and told he will cut his hand if he doesn't say love to his, yes to his proposal girl is panicking fuming and i said does your mother don't know mother is also scared why both don't know don't want to talk to the father so my question is why are wife and children even scared to talk to their father i don't understand so there is a gap which is happening so i pushed them made them understand whatever risk they are in and told them about those concepts and then she told to the father and father took the action and the kid was out of the college so nowadays i have seen many girls come and talk to me they are scared to talk to their father i don't know why father is like scaredy figure sir who else can protect them when they and so what they hide and from father they don't say things to father sometimes mother also is a part of it and they also don't know the problem becomes bigger 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 and later you'll come to know all this is happening which is too late so be that open father be that you know be there for your children slowly 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 they will move on but one thing i will tell you child needs that father and mother if you give that father and mother they won't meet phones i can guarantee but can you be that mother or father is the question so hope i have answered the question more questions i know i'm talking a little bit serious everything is silent i know you know when i talk to you know elderly people i just talk a lot of topics and you'll be thinking of all i'm saying is whatever is bothering in your mind make sure you work go home and fix it because after the end of the day after a certain time when you go more deeper into your life you will see this is not my son that is a joke i always say many parents tell that you can never be like me my question is they can never be like you because you are not like your mother and father so if you are genuinely like your mother and father i can guarantee you your child will become like you if you are changing as the mother and father there are chances that your children also will change in the way which you are not supposed to and the 50 moments i have am i making sense right yes sir yeah yeah so first of all many people are blaming covid for all this the first step is stop doing that as human means what we are trying to do is i don't want to blame myself so what do i do blame covid the more you blame a third party the more the life is going to be difficult with time so first thing is somewhere in covid that family messed up so the child is what it is accept that fact first if you blame it on covid no covid will be there sitting there nothing is going to happen to your life so that is the biggest problem in life as human beings when something wrong happens we look to whom to blame and the more we look to blame someone else the more life becomes difficult so let's just stop this covid issue because it's not the covid issue yes sir yeah i get it no but 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 see that is where it is at that time you could have shared stories so i will tell you on the dining table let me say a simple example forget after covid also on the dining table what is the topic of discussion between mother and father world news neighbor news what marks you got do ever any of your child ask you mama how is your school do any of your child ask you papa is your office all good do any of you ask you you know kid how is your you know teachers how is your friends tell me more about your friends no one talks about that no one talks family news right in covid what is the discussion this many people are dying this much death is coming uh, you know pro protect yourself guard yourself so it's basically the discussion itself is gone into fear the discussion itself is gone into that that has to change where we need to discuss more about my news my wife's news my children's news and when that changes most of these things will start because some children are just looking for a appreciation give them some people are just say oh father is proud of me half the kids think that father is not proud of them so what do the child have to look up to a dissatisfied father a failed mother or whatever it is they are looking up to where they going to get motivation 
when the father and mother is not positive when the father and mother is not happy and every time they go see father and mother fighting where are they going to get motivation so what is naturally happening is when you yourself is not giving that environment which the kids really need to be motivated i will tell you i talked to two kids today in your college both don't want to go home right now what is wrong with their parents people are just they, oh i'm happy in the college college is when i get peace when i go home there is a problem so my question is these kids are coming to me because there is a issue in their parents or their family so what is actually happening right now is that family bond has to come back Co and if i see from a from a larger perspective covid has come for that reason only to bring back the family together some families used it to the benefit some people made it the opposite and blame the covid for whatever changes i don't so why are we blaming people because we don't want to change and the more you don't change the more life gets difficult also for example whichever kind of person who you hate keeps repeating in your life true or false look into your life whichever kind of person who you hate keeps repeating true true or false true no let me louder true mostly right not true so whichever kind of person who you hate doesn't repeat you know that is your divine enough to 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 no, not to hate people but what i'm saying whichever person who you hate if you're not hating good for you but whichever kind of who you hate will keep repeating for example if someone hates their father you will see slowly that father figure repeating in a colleague also you will see the same father figure repeating in uh you will see if your brother you tend to work it out you will see slowly slowly they will repeat and slowly your husband or wife will also become like that with time and if you don't learn from that slowly slowly you will see that even the uh, even the uh, what do you say your children will turn up that so as long as we don't change god or universe have no other choice than to keep repeating it again and again until you change so what i am saying is let's not blame the world because the more we blame the world more we are losing in the process if that made sense So did I answer that? Okay. Yeah. As a teacher, what you should do? Okay. So I thought it's a family thing. Okay. As a teacher, what you have to do? Kids are lazy, and kids are you want to be motivated. As a teacher, what am I supposed to do? Some childrens just needs your appreciation. Some children just need your one tap. Some childrens just need a mother. some children needs a father can you as teacher give that the question you got i see as teachers you can stay as teachers but the turning point of a good teacher comes in by being the role which the child needs for example just uh, an hour ago i talked to a girl the girl girl literally cried in front of you front of me and she said to me sir what am i sharing i didn't share to anyone you're the first person i'm sharing why did she make that initiative to just to share because somewhere around she saw the brother in me who could help her out so as teachers remove that teacher's thought process from your head i am here as a hand of god trying to help that one child to flip his life what does he need for example now you will see teachers or your children in 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 junior levels right what i tell people is if you really want a child to open up bend down and talk to him this way but most fathers what they do they talk like this when you talk like this it's a different level next time you have small children try to bend down and come into eye contact they will open up more than talking this way because that kid oh everyone is standing and talking with me he has come to my level when he comes to my level they open up so what the children need in general if the teacher can shift into a friend is the most powerful relationship a teacher can get into right and then okay brother or sister or whatever it is but can i move that role into the friendship zone only then they will open up and if you can make them open up then you can help them in some way or the other if now did i answer the question okay fine good more questions and the five more minutes to go i, I have to finish in five minutes no anything else am i am i making sense directly or indirectly some answers you got as long as one or two people get my answer i've done justice to the event because my session is yes sir 
how can teachers be transformational agents first thing is stop being a teacher who's working for salary stop being a teacher who's working for status stop being a teacher because i never got any other job i got into teaching right stop being a teacher just because people respect me being a teacher first is get out of that teaching only then you become a transformational source of uh, this one to the kids because if you're looking for salary you're just working for the salary doing your stuff collecting the salary that's not teaching that is a job right if you're looking for status it is just ego building exercise and not a teacher so forget that also if you're looking for i have no other job and so i'm getting into teaching you're a frustrated teacher anyways is of no good use to the children anyways the other teacher is about am i available for every student who comes in contact with me do i each and every child have my number where they can call me whenever they want i give my number i've done hundreds of sessions i give my number to everyone not only few people will connect the other thing the teachers sometimes make a mistake is you try to change all the students stop doing that as a teacher you are selected to change few children's life focus on that kids and not every kid always remember 50% of the kids are going to work for negativity 50% of the kids are going to work for positivity and some are in the middle so your job is to help that positive kids and somewhere in the middle to get to positivity as i keep saying wars rapes harassments will keep happening how much ever you try to stop it because that's what moves the world so if you want to be a transformal teacher first of all there is this guard which you have to remove from the children's guard meaning is every guard every child when you go and talk to a child they themselves put a big wall in front of you if you can somehow break that wall the children will open up now how do you break the wall different child have a different requirement to break the wall one is just a good word hey you're doing a good job he will just open up then and there some could be a very close conversation you know something i'm really proud of you what you're doing so it is not about transforming your information it is more about the values which you have and how come i can understand their language because a transformation the language should be same if you go forward with children just by saying that i am a teacher this is my education take it or leave it you can never transform so the youth's language has changed now they have a certain topic of their interest for example if you see my talk i don't know if anyone participated in the morning if you see my talk i will talk a serious topic then i will talk about love then i'll go back to a serious topic then i'll talk about relationship then i'll go about a serious topic at the end of the day the last guy who gave us a feedback he had 10 15 beautiful points which has taken from my talk so what you're doing is the children's need that okay this teacher understands us this teacher sees us differently and when you start doing that is when the transformation happens it is be them be a part of their life and then guide them so i still remember, i give a simple example for making people understand this there was a child who came and asked me that sir i know this is the right line but most of the group is going to the wrong line what am i supposed to do is his question that i know this is the right line but 90% of the kids are doing i said like can i push them to come to my line i said like no you go in their line for some time and slowly tell one or two people try to influence them move them little bit here then slowly go back to the same line be make friends take some time and slowly move them few more and that is how you transform them but if you start thinking that today's youth are gone main reason why i started doing this is one of my supervisor told me that today's generation is completely lost and gone and i have given up and i can see a lot of teachers telling me this thing i am given up the youth so what i am saying is please don't give them up they need help from genuine teachers if you can be that great teacher i am quite sure you can influence them and make them a better human being because if teachers give up people like us have will have more job right so what i want is you to understand that as i told you five people who you have to care about is you know husband wife mother father the most important relationship which every teacher should focus on because if there's some problem in that it mess up then the other two people who you got to be very careful about is brother sisters brother sisters until marriage full stop if you start getting involved in your brothers and sisters relationship too much i'm sure most of the sisters or brothers end up crying only have a look at any of your life people whoever has spent 
their life helping their brother after marriage always cried only and last people is your future children until marriage then leave them sometimes i feel most of the divorces are happening because parents are getting too involved in the relationship if parents don't get too involved in the relationship that marriage will be happy moving but parents get involved they put their perspective husband to the daughter and the daughter thinks that even my husband is like that then the fight will start so what we are doing is is that core relationships and as i said if you want to be a transformable teacher the question is am i doing justice to the role what god has given me if you're not doing justice just doing it for the sake of salary if you just have just because i need the status people to respect me you'll never get into that divine hand of teaching once you are divine once you leave this salary status and all that i know you will think i'm talking all superficial stuffs and all that you must few of them might think because some of you might be thinking salary is the main reason why i'm working but please try to shift and see and make sure you are available forget the salary part and try to influence the kids in that way slowly slowly you become an idol for the child and once you become the idol for the child you can transform them in whatever way right i now have to stop now but i'll just conclude by saying it, it was it interesting sure no okay most of the senior talks i get less questions but i hope you got some answers to the you know life problems which you're looking for all i want to say one thing is that is every tear which falls out of your eyes is something life trying to teach you if you learn that lesson the tear will stop i can guarantee but if you don't learn that lesson the same situation is going to keep repeating the same people are going to keep repeating the same situation is going to keep repeating until you change it is your wish you want to change and be a better father or better teacher or is your wish you can blame the system you can blame the government some people blame covid of whatever it is happening in your life it is high time to take a step towards changing i am a father i won't change then the children will say i am a son i won't change right if you say that this is how you should live when you are old the children will say this is how i want you to live so let's all come together as a family as the joke i always say the problem is only a problem if you see problem as a problem a problem is only a problem if we see problem as a problem that same problem if you see as something life trying to teach you that same problem becomes a lesson hence the problem is no more a problem right if someone has any personal questions i can wait here or you can take my number in whatever form you want if i made some sense or some topic which of interest share it to the world in your name if there is something which i have told which had good value to you write an article or somewhere you are all teachers share it to the children and in your name because what i believe the messenger is not important the message is important as you all are positive teachers have your own influence over children use this message and take credits for everything because as long as the message of positivity is being spread my mission to the world is also being done directly or indirectly thank you and thank you for patiently listening to me i think i made a huge blunder i think i should have given q and a session or um, in, instead of international lecture or giving a lecture something like that so i came to know about deek uh two months back when i went to a conference uh, i had an opportunity to chair a session where he was the resource person and he is on a mission in mission uh, <coughs> to change lives and if i tell like that now in the current context it's an outdated word now most of them don't like that one going and correcting people upadeshikya uh, so idunna po kore perku kore karyangal ke enik thonu if you go to instagram and all many many students have started talking about i think two of them in the morning session two students came and uh, stood up and told that motivation is utter foolishness you remember one guy came and one guy stood up and said because he is a motivation speaker i know that i i know this guy he i i have sent him to many places to go and talk so uh, uh he runs an organization called as liap life is all positive and i, and I was all, i was astonished to hear he comes from abu dhabi to india on a mission tour for four days once in three months or often when someone calls him he puts in own money his own money comes and goes and talks in many or many institutions and i was astonished to see uh, when he gave a lecture when he ra- when he did a program in loyola college uh, i know um, 
most in in our place or in our culture uh, our students won't open up to to shoot out questions directly if, uh, directly they when the program starts so if in cities it's different i know most of you would have seen those things in many universities or in many top iits or in iims and all full of questions and expect and i expected many questions in the morning session and our students know are very clever they don't ask deep question they they, they never nobody asked asked about pornography nobody asked about relationship issues nobody asked asked about uh, multiple relationships and all which i have heard many people asking to decan maybe to different people there so i wholeheartedly thank you deek parashini for spending a valuable time with the staff of the christ college <coughs> thank you so much for being with us and i want to thank uh, father principal uh, all the vice principal deans my teachers and my dear colleagues thank you so much for spending your time here and on its weekend 4 uh, o'clock we need, we need to go and two special thanks to dr shindo kg and the whole iqvc team i know they are busy and i i i, I don't think they are here uh, so when i went and told them that he is coming for a session for students and you want to do it for for teachers and he said that let's try and do one one for teachers so i want to thank the iqsa team the barsa and and special thanks to jijo and jixen thank you so much have a nice weekend